many charity events in my time, and I can honestly say that I have never been more excited than I am at this moment. Tonight, the Alliance of Women Empowering Women is blessed with three extraordinary gals making a rare public appearance. They are the former First Ladies of the United States. And with me, they'll be reading excerpts from a Broadway show that empowers all women. The show, The Vagina Monologues. Hello, I'm Betty Ford. I'm Nancy Reagan. <laughs> and I'm Barbara Bush. <laughs> no pun intended. Vagina. <laughs> Let me scream it from the mountaintop. I never felt free enough to say it before. I have referred to it as my you-know-what, or it. And on some occasions, Wilma. <laughs> if your vagina had a nickname, what would it be? Susie. <laughs> Sweetie. Sourpuss. <laughs> Faithful. The black box. <laughs> Itchy. <laughs> Through this mystical canal, a seed is planted in my womb. If your vagina was a tree, what would it be? A sapling. <laughs> a barkless oak. A noble fur. <laughs> Succulent. A petrified maple. <laughs> a prickly cactus. <laughs> I like to think of my vagina as a pet. Loyal, special, and oh so temperamental. Hmm. If your vagina were an animal, what would it be? A hairless Sharpe. <laughs> a fruit bat. A, a hedgehog. <laughs> a miniature schnauzer. A ferret. <laughs> a long haired terrier. <laughs> I don't think that I can continue. My vagina is at one with the earth because its cycle is the same. For some, it is a time of sweet spring rain, and for us others, it's a low, stinky tide. <laughs> if your vagina was a natural disaster, what would it be? A monsoon. A drought. Acid rain. A mudslide. An ice storm. A sinkhole. V. Validate it. A. Adore it. G. Grab it. I. Ignite it. In. Nurture it. A. Air it up. Vagina. 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 